Hello amazing ones. In this tutorial, you are going to learn how to solve this tricky radical equation and, and at the end, I will teach you how to check for the valid solution. It's going to be amazing. And don't forget to like and also tell us how this tutorial helps you in the comment. Let's do this together. It's just so easy. Okay, so this is what we have to get the value of P. Now we're going to begin this with solution. So what we do, we rewrite what we have here. So we have root of 3 plus root t is equal to 3. Now, to solve this further, we need to remove these radicals, okay? And to do that, you are going to square both sides because what you have here is square root. So this is the left side and this is the right side. So we're going to square both sides. So to do that, we have root 3 plus root t all raised to the power of t is equal to 3 squared. Now we're going to expand this. Just remember that for every a plus b to the power of 2 is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. Interesting. So this is going to be a guide. This is our a and this is our b. So what do we have? This gives us root of 3 raised to the power of 2 plus this will be raised to the power of 2, then plus 2, we multiply a, and then multiply root t. And this is equal to 3 squared is 3 times 3, and that will give us a 9. So we keep simplifying this, and to do that, this gives us, we are going to have, this square we cancel the square root, so we have 3 plus, this we cancel this, so we have t, plus let's multiply this we're going to have now remember that for each time you have root of a multiplied by root of b it gives you root of a b provided that the radicals these radical signs are the same okay so you can multiply the radicals so this is going to be our guide to know more about radicals i will drop a link in the comments so what do we do to multiply this these two are of the same radical signs so we can now have plus 2 root 3 will multiply t. So 3 multiplies t and this is equal to 9. Interesting. Now from here, we're going to now have 3 plus t. Now this will give us plus 2 root 3t is equal to 9. So what do we do next? We are going to move this to this part. Okay, so to do that, we're going to have, this is addition, this is having a positive sign, this is positive, so we're going to subtract, so we're going to subtract this both, okay, and to do that, we have, this will give us, we'll be left with 2 root 3t is equal to 9, this will now be minus 3, and this will be minus t, interesting, so we keep simplifying this, we have 2 root 3t is equal to, subtract this, it gives you 6 minus t. So what do we do next? We're going to now square both sides of this. To square it, remember that this will now be squared. You square this side and also square this side, okay? So to square this, remember that these two will be square. Remember, for every a, b to the power of m, it is always equal to a to the power of m and b to the power of m. So this is also going to guide us for this. So to expand, to simplify this, we are going to have 2 will be raised to power of these two, and this will also be raised to power of 2. So we have this to be equal to 6 minus t, then raised to power of uh, 2. Simplifying for that, we are going to now have 2 squared is 2 times 2 to give us 4. So we have this, we cancel this, and we are left with 4 into 3t is equal to 6 minus t to the power of 2. Now also remember, when you have a minus b to the power of 2, it is a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. Okay, so this is also going to guide us for this expansion. So we're going to have this multiplies will give us 12t. So we're going to have 12t is equal to 
6 squared plus, this will give us t squared minus 2, we multiply 6 and multiply t. So we keep simplifying, we have 12t is equal to, t squared is 6 times 6 to give us 36 plus t squared, multiply this, we have 12t. So what do you think we should do? We are going to, when you look at this, you observe that there is t to the power of 2. And whenever you have an equation of this form, where the highest power of the unknown is 2, it's leading you to quadratic. So we're going to gather this together to look beautiful. To do that, we are going to subtract this, okay? So we subtract because it's added here. So we're going to have 36 plus, so we have 36 minus 12t, then this will be minus 12t, I hope you are still with me, then plus t squared, and everything should be equal to 0. So we keep simplifying this, this gives us t squared, when you add this, it gives you negative 24t, then plus 36 is equal to 0. So this is what we have, and we are to solve this quadratically. And to do that, we have t is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now, we're going to also use this as a guide. Carefully observe that your a is always the coefficient of the value with the power of 2. So the coefficient of t squared is 1. So our a is 1. The b is the coefficient of t, which is negative 24. And our C is the constant, which is 36. So we're going to plug these values into this formula. And to do that, we have T will give us, our B has, the formula has negative, your B has negative 24. So be careful at this point, okay? Plus or minus square root of, it is, our B is negative 24 squared minus 4. We multiply, our A is 1 multiplying by our c is 36 so this is divided by 2 multiplied by our a is 1 interesting and if you keep simplifying t will give us multiply this it gives you 24 plus or minus now negative 24 squared is negative 24 multiplied two times and if you multiply it it gives us so we have root of 576 minus, multiply this, this will give us negative 4 times, this gives us 144. And this will be divided by 2 times 1, will give us 2. Interesting. And don't forget to give this tutorial a like. Let's know also what you feel about it. Let's know about it in the comments. Thank you and let's continue. So at this point, we are going to have T is equal to 24 plus or minus. Now, when you subtract this, this will give us 2, this will give us 3, and this will give us 4. So we have this, and that is divided by 2. So to find the square root of this without calculator, let me quickly teach you what you do. So this is what you have. 2 can divide because the last digit is 2. We have 2. 2 here is 1. We have 6, okay? So we can have 2 again, 1. 2 here is 0. We have 8. 2 will give us 54. 2 here will give us 27. 3 will give us 9. 3 will give us 3. And 3 here is 1. Now, because it's square root pair, okay? So we pair this, pair this, and then pair this. Now multiply this. This will multiply 4. This will multiply 12. And this will remain in the root because it's not having a pair, okay? So we are going to have, for finding the square root of this, it will give us 12 root 3. So simplifying this, we are going to now have, so this gives us t is equal to 24 plus or minus 12 root 3 divided by 2. Interesting. Now we keep simplifying this. We have t is equal to 24 will be divided by 2 plus or minus 12 root 3 will be divided by 2. So simplify t, we give us, divide this, we have 12 plus or minus, divide this, we have 6 root 3. Now, to simplify further, we have t, the first value of t will be 12 
plus 6 root 3, okay? And then the second value of t will be 12 minus 6 root 3. Now, when you look at these two values, you have to be very careful because what we have here is a radical equation. So we're going to do a check to pick out the valid solution of this particular equation and then discard the extraneous. It's going to be amazing and I wouldn't want you to miss this part. Now to check, we're going to have, this is what we have. Now we're going to check with this first from when t is 12 plus 6 root 3. So we're going to plug this value in this left side to see if it gives us 3. Now to do that, we are going to have root 3 plus root of our t is 12 plus 6 root 3. Is it going to be equal to 3? Now remember we are not using calculator on this because it's radical. So we're going to look at how to simplify this. Now to simplify this square root of root, just remember this trick. Now, whenever you have root of square root of a plus b root m, how do you simplify? Just quickly get two numbers that when you multiply it, it gives you this m. Let's say that the two numbers are p and q. And when you add the two numbers, it is going to give you this a. Okay? So when you add those two numbers, it gives you a. But you have to remember that your b must be equal to 2 and that this p must be greater than q i hope that is clear so how do we do this we are going to have it as so this is going to be our guide now simplifying this how do we make this to be in this form knowing fully well that our b must be 2 so let me teach you what to do so from here we are going to have root 3 plus so we have root of 12 Plus, now this 6, we know too well that 6, we can simplify it so that we have only 2 here. And 6 is the same as 2 multiplied by 3. Interesting. And this is root 3. Okay. Now, what do we do again? We are going to have root 3 plus, now we have root of 12 plus. Now, remember that when you have square root of 9, it is given as 3. Now, if this is given as 3, it means if you want to return this 3 to be inside the root, you are going to have it as square root of 3 squared. Did you see? So if you bring this back in the root, you have to square it for it to give you back this 9. So what it means is that to remove this, to put it inside this root, we are going to have this will be plus. Then we have root of this 3 will now be squared, then multiplied by 3. I hope this is very understood. So we keep simplifying this. Let's take it to this part to have root 3 plus root of 12 plus. Now, this will give us 2 roots. This we have 3 squared is 3 times 3 to give us 9. And 9 times 3 will give us 27. So you see that we'll be able to reduce this 6 to 2, obeying what we have here. So what you now do is, can there be two numbers that when we multiply, it gives us this, and when we add it, it gives us 12. Now, what two numbers can we think of? To shorten it, we can think of 9 and 3, okay? When you multiply this, it gives you 27, and when you add this two, it gives you 12. So, to simplify, it means we have root 3 plus, now this is of this form, and when you have this from our definition, it should be equal to, this should be equal to root of p plus root of q. So when you have this, it should be equal to this, okay? So putting this in this form, we are going to have root of 9 plus square root of 3. Interesting. And if you simplify, you have square root of 3 plus, square root of 9 will give us 3 plus square root of 3. Okay, so add it, collect terms together. This plus this will give us 2 root 3 plus 3. And you know, this is not equal to what we have here as 3. So what it means is that the value of t as 12 plus 6 root 3 is not what? Is not valid. So we are going to do what? Reject it. Now we're going to also check for the second value of t to see if it gives us 3. And to do that, we have 20 is equal to 12 minus 6 root 3. 
let's do our check so we're going to have root of 3 plus this will give us root of t is 12 minus 6 root 3 is this going to give us a uh, 3 now we also need to re repeat what we did here so you have to remember that for when you have square root of a minus b root m it should be equal to provided you have two numbers and when you multiply it gives you this and when you add it it gives you what this a we are going to have it that it will give us square root of p minus square root of q remember your b must be equal to two so we are going to now repeat what we did earlier so from here we are going to have root of three plus this will be simplified to give us 12 minus for this we have two root nine multiplied by three is this equal to three so we're going to have root of three plus we have square root of 12 minus two root this gave us 27 is this equal to three so you observe that from what we got here we have it as so we have root of three plus simplifying this we got root of nine so it's going to now be subtraction okay so we have root of nine minus root of three and is this still going to give us three so we are still going to now have let's take to this part so we have root of three plus square root of nine will give us three minus root three is this still equal to three you now have it that square root of three minus this is gone and we are left with three at the left side and that is equal to three at the right side so what it means is that the valid value of t is 12 minus 6 root 3 and that is our answer and i hope this really helps you a lot let's know your own method in the comment and if this helps you share so that others will learn with you give this a thumbs up subscribe for more tips and i will see you in our next class thank you for always engaging till then bye, -bye.